should we choose the uh, statement word the non-stimulant? You only when I talk to my patients, and you will talk about the pros and cons related to androl and stimulants. In this country, you should understand, we as physicians, to a certain degree, similar like waiter or waitress, patients act more like clients. I will not like their supervisors or parents to force them to make any choice. So we just present the benefits versus putting in public. The patient make the decision. And this is how we start treatment. Not because we force patients to take statements or non statements. Majority of people still choose statements, but they are also considered combined with the statements. So right now, combination of statements and non statements is more popular. Like I said, the statements work fast. Uh, they can help patients in the short term. Lung statements work slowly. They can help patients several months, even years down the road. Uh, so most patients, probably around 60%, uh, prefer these choices. But we do find out probably 20 to 30% of patients with ADD, ADHD, they're concerned about tolerance, addiction. So they are willing to try sorting first. Probably half of the patients with attending deficit, they can continue just use Zotera without stimulants. But we do find out that probably half of patients eventually still need a small amount of Andro. When patients with combination of Zotera with Andro, probably about 10% to 20% patients eventually they can stop the Andro, just use Zotera. But even patients continue combination of both, they can maintain the stimulants and relatively smaller dose. Even some of my patients come to see me, they are on very high dose stimulants already. I have one patient, he's on very fast. That's actually, that's my first time starting to use combination of both. He's on very high dose and very fast, 70 milligrams. He actually want to, want to decrease those, want to stop. Why? It's because he was high or not. Often cause problems because stimulants is control medication we are not enough to give a patient more than 30 days. Sometimes cause problems, uh, after 30 days, he was still in travel. He couldn't get prescriptions, cause it's a huge problem. So he actually wanted to decrease those. Uh, you would stop. So I added the stratera. Eventually, we increase the stratera, then gradually decrease my mass. He actually successfully decreased from 70 milligrams to 10, 15 milligrams. That's a sensation. He was surprised. I was also first time surprised. Then I, I can see the potential of combination of both. Uh, of course, this patient so far, he's still on both, but I'm very much, much lower dose of the VIVAS. Uh, currently, he's on about 20, 30 milligrams. So this is an example. Combination of statements and non statements can prevent or delay, you can even can improve the tolerance towards statements. Besides combination of the stimulants and non stimulants, there are another issue we need to be addressed. Not every stimulant is created equal. There's two formulations for the stimulants. One is extemporaneous capsule. Extemporaneous meaning this medication can be in the body for more than eight or twelve hours. Another is immediate release, so four to six hours. Most patients right now are the immediate release. There are two reasons. First, surprise. Immediate release is probably much cheaper than extended release. For example, immediate release it just costs about $10 or $15 a month. Immediate release probably will cost about 30 40 bucks. But that's not very expensive. Two or three years ago, when Android still brand name, that can cost hundreds of dollars. Uh, so if it's hundreds of dollars, the immediate release is ten or fifteen dollars. I can I can understand. But right now, twenty thirty uh, twenty bucks versus um, uh, forty fifty bucks. That's not a big difference. But many people more like immediate release, so not even believe they can control their attention. They thought if they need the attention, they take an Android. Then they don't need it. They, they don't need to take. So, but that's not working in that, that way. Why? It's because let me give you an analogy, help you understand. 
Have you ever on the Zoom course? Initially, you feel excited, right? Yeah. Then you feel nervous. After five or ten minutes, you want to get out of there. So that causes problem, right? But it was fun. How do you feel when you're on the airplane, especially when you're on the airplane on the cruise level? I feel mm? kind of stable, yeah, mm? but sometimes it will be a little mm. bit bumpy. Ah, yeah. But no matter what, especially on the cruise level, mm. you can read books, you can drink coffee, you can talk to people around you. When you're on the roller coaster, you cannot do anything. So, which travel faster? Airplane can travel faster than sound speed. How can the roller coaster do that? Airplane not just faster than the roller coaster, much, much faster, 10 times faster, I want to say. This is similar like immediate release versus extended release. Immediate release make your open different dopamine in your body upside down. Like the roller coaster, that's why many people suddenly couldn't pay attention because they have to go to take uh, Android again twice or three times even for immediate release. That causes huge problem. But for the nine statements, you just take a once, can make your attention much, much consistent, stable. More important is extended release can raise the open different domain much, much higher than immediate release. Immediate release, the maximum dose is 40 milligrams. Extended release, maximum dose is 60 milligrams. You can, you can calculate 60 milligrams stay in your body for 10 hours. Immediate, 40 milligrams stay in your body just for 6 hours. You can calculate that, which will increase the open different domain mm -hmm. higher, more, higher. Definitely is extended release, right? So sometimes I really don't understand why people choose speed release. There's probably one reason we can ex explain it. So people use immediate release units for fun, for euphoria. Uh, not as release for functioning. If for functioning, definitely extended release uh, is better. I often, I often joke with my patients, I say, that if you want to have fun, you will go to the Six Flag uh, to catch, to use the roller coaster, right? If you want to go to New York or go to Washington DC, definitely go to the airport. There's no argument, right? Mm -hmm. uh, same as if you want to really improve your function, improve your capacity, of course you can release. Uh, if you're just for fun, you fully up and oh, uh, the party, you will have more f cool, of course people choose you for you. But that's not the way psychiatrists do. That's what drug dealers do. Mm -hmm. uh, often you can pay, if you want that, you go to the street to buy, oh, to buy the tablets. <laughs> so personally, I basically don't prescribe immediate release. Uh, don't, oh, we are not served for that purpose. Uh, most patients, after I tell them, use the roller coaster and airplane and energy, they are willing to try extended release. Uh, very, very few people, very little patients refuse that. Very rare. Mm -hmm. So now, you can see the treatment of the thing they've It's not just answer. It's not just the go sort here. Actually, we'll talk about this improve increase in low benefit, don't worry, no matter what. Uh, so this episode, we'll talk about this some medication treatment. But in the future, we will talk about non-medical treatment, uh, which will actually play more important roles in the medications. Uh, so let me emphasize again. Treatment about a thing deficit, we need working on increase Norepinephrine dopamine, not about andro or strontium. Thanks for Dr. Jason J answering all our mm -hmm. questions today. And don't forget to subscribe our channel so you won't miss Dr. Jason J's following video. And thanks for your joining our studio again. Mm -hmm.